What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a Jordan 1 raffle for the Jordan 1 Top 3s. As you guys can see right here, it is a size 7.5. They are DS. And you can go ahead and purchase a ticket on my website, which I will leave a link to down in the description below. Every ticket is a dollar each, and right now there's about 250 entries taken out of 300. So if I'm not mistaken, there are around 50 left, so make sure you get them before they're all gone. Anyways, today we're talking about a new sneaker coming out on the Adidas line. It is part of the EQT line, and it is the Adidas EQT Support. 9317 and if you guys follow that part of Adidas line you guys may know that their last release was the 9310s which is this style right here but as I go along with the video I will post pictures of the 9317 right here a little fact to throw in there before I start this is Adidas 25th year of their equipment line and let me tell you something they went hard with this shoe I'm gonna be referring to this shoe a lot just because it's the only EQT support that I have and it does look similar to this one except there's a few changes well to start off with the uppers of the shoe they did make it a prime knit upper and they put a digital cam on it, which is a really nice touch to the shoe. Next up, they pretty much kept the lacing system the same. They have these three stripes still, and at the end, they do have the eyelets where you can put the laces around, and then they do have the strap on the side, but the only part they changed was the back. And what I like about it is how it's not connected. Like, it's something new that you haven't seen on a lot of shoes before, or probably any shoe at all, well, at least I haven't seen them. And it does separate, and then it goes around, and then it has another strap right here. And it is a different color, and it does feature the new turbo red color that they haven't put on any shoe before. Which I don't know why they call it turbo red, because it is more like of a pinkish color from what it looks like in the pictures. Moving on to the heel part of the shoe, they did make like two different colors. They put a white, and then the rest of the shoe is black on the upper. And I really like that because it just, I don't know, kind of just makes the shoe pop a little bit more, especially the heel. And it does kind of catch attention to the eye especially with that turbo red on the back. Also, another really cool touch is the fact that they put a lot of stripes right here on the side of the shoe. It really does make the shoe pop, like I said. And also, they did put EQT support right under the eyelets, which is a really dope touch, in my opinion. And of course, on the tongue, you do have the patch that most of them have, and they did put it on the new one as well. But what really did it for me was a full-length boost that they put on the shoe. Honestly, that is the best thing they could have done to this shoe, just because a lot of more people will probably buy the EQTs now, just because they do have that boost and Boost is super comfortable and lately a lot of people have just been wearing Boost over anything and I know I have like I've been trying to wear other shoes I'm trying to wear this shoe but the fact that it doesn't have Boost just kills me because I want to be comfortable throughout the day and the fact that they actually put in the shoe is just killer and to finish out the shoe they did put the black rubber outsole on the bottom and they also did put a bunch of little windows so you can see the Boost right through it and the fact that they made it black was really smart so when you walk it will get dirty but you won't really notice it instead of having it white just like the Boost and they did keep the same textured toe and heel for grip Adidas did confirm this morning that they are dropping the shoe on January 26th, which does land on a Thursday, and that is about two weeks from now, and you know I have to cop that shoe. I mean, the only thing that kills me is probably the color of the turbo red, but I don't know if I'm going to get that shoe exactly, or I'm going to wait for them to drop more colorways for me to cop. Unfortunately, I don't know the price of the shoe. I'm pretty sure it would be around the same price as this, maybe a little more because of the boost material, but in all honesty, it's completely worth it because of the comfort and just the silhouette overall. Honestly, one of my favorite parts has to be the heel, how it goes down and then it swoops out. It gives a nice, like, smooth look to the shoe, and also how they gave the boost the same form as this midsole, just a little bit different. And if you guys have to ask me about my opinion on the shoe, they absolutely killed it, killed it, killed it, man. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the new Adidas silhouette of their EQT line. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 by Sneaker Comfort Lauderdale, which is February 11th, and I can't believe I just got that on one try. I do want to apologize for forgetting to put a fan of the day yesterday. I completely forgot about it, but I didn't forget today. And I do want to shout out the fan of the day for today, and that is Jonathan Reyes. Funny ass dude. He always has me cracking up, always saying first in all my comments. By the way, if you're new to the channel and want to know how to become a fan of the day, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, and show some love in the comments. Just keep commenting, and maybe one day I'll choose you. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay woke. Well. Our sneaker signing out. Peace.